What is time for your Survivor Series main event? The WWE Championship is on the line inside Hell in a Cell. The number one contender, the Apex Predator Randy Orton versus longtime rival, the Rated R Superstar Edge. For the final time ever, these two go head to head. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. An even weight and even height. You see the debuts, you see the history between World Championships and WWE Championships. Both men, former two-time Royal Rumble match winners, Randy Orton, eight appearances inside the Hell in a Cell with a five and three record. Edge, on the other hand, only two appearances inside the Hell in a Cell with a one and one record. Randy Orton with more experience in the Hell in a Cell, but Edge, no stranger to the big match situation. It is main event time. November the 24th, 2022, Thanksgiving night. TD Garden, Boston, Massachusetts, Survivor Series. And here comes the number one contender. He outlasted Drew McIntyre and Mustafa Ali in the WWE Championship Eliminator that culminated back at Judgment Day. Randy Orton punched his ticket to meet whomever may be the WWE Champion on this night. And it just so happens to be a long time rival in the Rated R Superstar Edge. Edge and Randy Orton with so much history, especially in recent years, things had to come to a head. Things had to come to a screeching halt between these two men. Hence the reason this match was deemed to take place inside Hell in a Cell. For the final time ever, former friends, long time rivals, We'll meet inside the square circle and all the marbles are on the line. The WWE Championship, the most prestigious prize in the business today. Up for grabs between the champion and challenger. But even on top of the gold, the ultimate bragging rights between the legend killer and the rated R superstar. Who is the better man? Who is the best? Between these two former members of rated R KO. We take a look at the tail of the tape moments ago. Randy Orton with more experience inside of this hellacious structure. A five and three record for the Viper. As for Edge, two appearances inside the cell, cutting the difference one and one. Will the experience of Randy Orton inside of this structure pay him dividends tonight? Or is the Rated R Superstar operating on a completely different level right now? And the champion is in the house. It has been one hell of a year for Edge. Returning to Monday Night Raw. Winning Money in the Bank. Becoming the WWE Champion back at SummerSlam by defeating AJ Styles. There was a bump in the road and Edge lost the championship back in Extreme Rules to Austin Theory. He righted that wrong back on September the 10th at Judgment Day. But now all roads lead to Satan's prison, to the most demonic, hellacious structure known to mankind, hell in a cell. A match known to shorten careers meets the final resting place for Edge and Randy Orton here tonight. And the gold around the waist of the Rated R Superstar is what it's all about here tonight in Boston. It has been one hell of an evening here at Survivor Series, but we've waited all night long for the culmination of this storied feud between two longtime competitors, and that prestigious gold is on the line. Introducing the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper. And introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar, Edge! It
It is a big fight feel here in Boston. Edge hands over the WWE Championship for quite possibly the last time. Randy Orton taking a look at what could be his prize. But who is gonna be the last man remaining here tonight at Survivor Series? Randy Orton, Edge. The cell has been lowered. And the main event is underway. Here we go. The Viper, the Apex Predator, the number one contender versus the Hall of Famer, the Rated R Superstar and the defending WWE Champion. So much bad blood over the years between these two men. It was only right for everything to culminate inside the steel of the hell in the cell. It should be very interesting to see how this plays out. We talked about how Randy Orton has more experience inside the Hell in the Cell, but Edge, no stranger to big match situations. He's been in the Cell before. He's main evented WrestleMania. A decorated career for the Rated R Superstar. He has done everything there is to do in the WWE. Every championship, every accolade, Edge has accomplished it. But can he add on to that already Hall of Fame career tonight? The successful title defense over Randy Orton. We're going to find out throughout this main event. And Edge exits the Hell in the Cell. Randy Orton's got his eyes. Edge is looking underneath the ring for something here. And Edge is grabbing a kendo stick. I guess there was a little left over from that last man standing earlier tonight. And Orton takes advantage. We already saw one kendo stick break. And there's another. Randy Orton into the cover already on Edge. And Edge gets the shoulder up. It goes without saying, but anything goes. No disqualifications inside Hell in the Cell. This thing's got to be won by pinfall or submission inside the square circle, but anything else does not matter. And Orton now heads to the outside, and Randy Orton's grabbing the wood of a table here. These guys wasted no time introducing some accessories into this playground. These guys got to be careful, brawling away on the outside of the ring. The ring surrounded by the steel, surrounded by the Hell in the Cell structure. Punishment will be inflicted as Randy Orton is the first to eat the steel. Edge throwing Orton's face first right into the cage wall. And you see how the fight is really restricted around ringside. Not too many places to go when you're locked inside the confines of the Hell in the Cell structure. Oh, and Edge hitting Randy Orton off the steel steps right there. And, oh, I believe Randy Orton may already be busted wide open. We are, what, two minutes into this matchup. And if I'm not mistaken, Orton's showing some color. He ate the steel of the cage and then eating those steel steps. Randy Orton, got to be careful in this matchup, especially the later it goes. The blood trickling from the forehead's only going to make you more tired. And put a target on your forehead in this matchup. After a brawl around ringside, Edge sent Randy Orton into the ring. At that table right there that Orton brought into play a few moments ago. And a swinging neck breaker to the Rated R Superstar. Edge obviously with a history of neck problems. Has looked great ever since coming out of retirement. Which is really where things escalated between Orton and Edge a couple of years ago. Where Orton wanted to put Edge back into retirement. And hell, I'm sure that's on the mind of the Viper here tonight. And a suplex by Orton. Simple but effective. Crashing him into the canvas. Suplex might have knocked that table out of ringside. I don't think Orton cares right now. He's got Edge in a predicament in the corner. Using those rights and lefts to beat down the Rated R Superstar. Edge has had one hell of a year, as we said. Money in the bank. Two more WWE Championship reigns in the list of accolades for Edge throughout this year. As for Randy Orton, has really showed a different side over the last number of months, turning his back on his former tag team partner, the original bro, Matt Riddle. Of course, those two men went one-on-one -on -one back at Extreme Rules. Randy Orton only agreed to the matchup that Riddle wanted and only would do it if Riddle promised it would be the only meeting and that when Randy Orton won, that there would be no more chances that Randy Orton would get his opportunity to move on from RK Bro, and that's exactly what happened, and we all saw how much punishment Randy Orton inflicted on that night at Extreme Rules, and quite possibly Matt Riddle's never been the same since. Of course, as we mentioned, Randy Orton earning this WWE Championship match here tonight in the lead-up to Judgment Day, defeated Drew McIntyre, and then on September the 10th at Judgment Day, defeated Mustafa Ali. 
in the finals of the WWE Championship Eliminator. It's the reason Randy Orton is the number one contender here tonight. And of course, it's back at Judgment Day as well, where Edge won back the WWE Championship after a short time without it, defeating Austin Theory in what was a great wrestling main event. That is one thing I don't expect to see too much of in this matchup. It's some pure wrestling. And these two men have been fighting ever since the opening bell. Orton bringing that table back into play. Obviously, it's got something in mind with the wood here tonight. And it's got Edge, Hangman, Neckbreaker there. And a fall for the Rated R Superstar. Now Orton's grabbing the table. Orton clearly has got some punishment in mind for the WWE Champion here tonight. What is that punishment going to be? What has Orton got in mind? What are the wheels are turning for the Apex Predator? Edge trying to look to avoid disaster here. He's got Orton in a predicament, slamming him down in the corner. And these guys have been going at it since the opening bell. A lot of brawling between these two men, but you kind of see they're taking their time with each other here. They're playing the long game in this Hell in the Cell, and Orton's already shown color, dripping from the forehead. A target on the head of Randy Orton, as we mentioned, but... Gonna see how that'll play in the long game in this matchup. As Orton sends Edge over the top rope down to the outside, we are back out right by the steel cage walls of the cell. Let's see who's gonna get the upper hand. Let's see if one of these men is gonna be able to avoid disaster, if one of them is gonna eat the hell in the cell yet again. Edge is yet to come in contact with it. Randy Orton, on the other hand, went face first a few minutes ago and just ate a super kick to the jaw. I think I might have saw some blood flying around here at ringside. Orton's got to be dazed off that kick from Edge. Oh, still fighting. Oh, and an uppercut to the WWE Champion. Brutal. Just a brutal fight since the opening bell. And Edge with another kick. And sends Orton into the steel steps again. You know, kind of like how we mentioned earlier in the last man standing match between John Cena and Austin Theory. No headlock takeovers here tonight. It's all about a fist fight inside the Hell in a Cell for the WWE Championship. Edge again whipping Randy Orton off. Orton barely avoiding disaster with the cell right there. And Edge missing for that super kick again, and Orton sends Edge right into the ring apron. Oh no, and Edge hits the steel steps this time. May have hit the steel cage on the way down. Randy Orton, you see he's taking his time here at ringside, not trying to rush into anything, and once again throw an edge into the steps. Cold and calculated is the number one contender. We really saw it on display a couple of months ago in that matchup against Riddle at Extreme Rules, and we've really seen it on display with Randy Orton ever since, and Edge eats the cell, and Edge is trying to fight back. Felt the steel of the cold, steel cold of the cell, doesn't want to do it again, and Edge sent Randy Orton through the cage wall. The hell of the cell may come crashing down tonight. Edge just sent Randy Orton through a ride right through the wall down here to ringside, and the fight continues whether it's in the cell or out of the cell. Well, the cell is usually meant to keep the men inside. We've seen people break out before, but at the end of the day, this thing can only be won inside of the squared circle. Take the fight where you have it. But somebody's only leaving with the WWE Championship if the decision's in the ring. And the fight has now broken out outside of Hell in a Cell to ringside. And Orton throw an edge. May have hit the cell there. The audience here in Boston, the barricade's breaking the view up a little bit. But Edge trying to fight back. The fight just continues. These guys are throwing each other all around ringside. And the more these guys ragdoll each other around, the more falls they come in contact with the steel cell, the steps, the floor, the damage is gonna start wreaking a toll at some point. Can't believe Edge, the emphatic throw to Randy Orton right through the cell. Edge ate the cell, almost as if he woke him up and then immediately sent Orton crashing through the wall. We're battling here through these announce tables. Already had one casualty tonight. Are we gonna see another? Randy Orton in the barricade. Fight continues here for the WWE Championship on Thanksgiving night 2022 here at Survivor Series. Oh, a headbutt to Randy Orton. Now Orton again sending Edge right into the corner. 
The fight continues. Edge is down and out. Number one contender eyeing up the WWE Champion. Orton's drew blood already. Edge has yet to. I'm sure he would love to keep it that way. And Orton needs to barricade again. Ragdolling each other around. Back and forth the momentum swings in Hell in the Cell tonight. You gotta imagine this is a long time coming between these two men. Really never got the chance. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Edge, Orton's down, and Edge is scaling the hell in the cell. You have got to be kidding me. Randy Orton just realized where Edge went. I don't think Orton wants to climb that cell and meet, with, and meet Edge at the top of this structure. Orton's looking up. I don't think Orton's too interested right now. The WWE Champion is atop the cell, is atop Boston, and is challenging Randy Orton to come finish this fight on top of hell. I don't know, the wheels are spinning. I don't think Randy Orton really wants to do it. He knows the casualties that could come. Oh, oh no, Randy Orton said screw it. Orton's climbing the cell wall, and Edge is fired up. What started in the ring, has now made its way to the top of the Hell in the Cell. Edge and Orton meeting in the most dangerous of situations possible here tonight. Gotta be damn near 20, 25 feet in the air. And now dead center of the Hell in the Cell, Orton grounded and pounded on the Rated R Superstar, trying to make sure he doesn't come out on the losing end of this battle atop the structure, but there's Edge. The brawl continues. Stiff elbows to the open wound of Randy Orton. Oh no, Edge spear! A spear on top of the cell! And not only did he spear him on top of the cell, but notice the landing point of Randy Orton right in the crossroads of those beams and Orton, oh! Oh man, Orton was close from falling off the hell in the cell. That was dangerously close for the number one contender. Man, this is getting dangerous. Oh no, not on the cell. Orton just face first onto the cell structure. These two gotta be careful. Those, oh my. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Those, that roof is only with, meant to withstand so much punishment. Orton with an uppercut, you see. That one panel is already folded. No, 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 edge, edge through the cell. You have got to be kidding me, Randy Orton. Oh my, the Exploder Suplex just sent Edge falling all the way down from hell. And Orton's got that table still. They didn't climb back down, walk their asses back into the ring. Randy Orton just sent Edge falling through the sky down to the ground. And it almost gets uncomfortable to watch when Randy Orton gets into this mindset here. The table's in play. Orton again sends Edge through the wood of the table. Just wrap the damn match up already. And oh no. Edge is barely able to stand. Orton now is not done with the punishment. We talked about this back in Extreme Rules when Orton was going to this place and really snapping and beating the hell out of Riddle. How uncomfortable it was to watch. And Edge somehow is trying to avoid disaster again. I don't know how the hell he's walking right now after taking a fall damn near 20 feet to the floor and then crashing through a table to follow that up. Oh, and now Orton with another left hand. This is the punishment the Hell in the Cell can bestow upon your career. There's a reason these matches are few and far between anymore. There's a reason that Edge and Randy Orton were deemed worthy to step foot inside this structure. Because they knew it was the only way to end things between the two of these guys once and for all. Edge is on the outside. Randy Orton has brought another wooden table into play. And I don't know what the hell he needs to be doing with that. As if there already hasn't been enough punishment in this contest. Edge back into the ring, Randy Orton. Oh no. Eyeing up the table again. And Edge goes through the table. Edge is withstanding 
Assault after assault from the number one contender and is somehow staggering on his own two feet. Orton's not done, but Edge knows it's now or never to turn the tide in this contest. Now, I might be mistaken, but I believe Edge has been cut open. Oh, yeah. Edge has been cut open as well. Both these men are bleeding the crimson mask, and that headbutt ain't gonna do anybody any favors. Edge trying to fight back. Both these men are bleeding from the forehead. Randy Orton has introduced another table into this matchup. Orton swings in a miss. Edge grabbing a hold of the number one contender and sending him down to the floor. May not have been as disastrous as Edge's fall, but Orton certainly taking a fall like that ain't gonna do him no good. This is where Edge has done the most damage thus far in this match, just brawling around ringside. That's how he cut open Randy Orton in the early going, and that's how he's really was in the momentum driver's seat in the first few minutes of this matchup as well. Fight spills back into the ring. It's blood versus blood right now. Orton with a kick. Edge is on his knees. DDT takes Edge out. Edge is barely staggering right now, but you see the WWE champion, the heart and the resilience of the rated R superstar still got fight in him as we enter real late waters in this WWE championship matchup. And oh, no. Not for the top rope. Blood is trickling down, and Orton superplex. Dead center of the ring. It almost gets uncomfortable to watch. Randy Orton, piece by piece, picking apart the WWE Champion. Not to mention he has another table yeah. looming in the corner, but I'm sure he's got some vicious intent in mind. Edge trying to survive. Counters out right there. Orton unloading on the WWE Champion. Edge with a shot there. Edge with a drop kick. Orton counters. Edge avoids disaster again. And there's the drop kick by the WWE Champion. Orton bounces up. Goes for a drop kick. Edge counters. And a shot right to the open wound to slow the pace down. Back and forth we go. Inside Hell in the Cell. One has been an amazing night here at Survivor Series. New champions crowned. Revenge being served. And only one person is going to come back alive after this Hell in a Cell matchup. And right now, Randy Orton is in the driver's seat. And ever since Edge took that fall, it really feels like the Rated R Superstar is fighting an uphill battle. Every time he tries to fight back, tries to build some momentum, Randy Orton's right there to cut him off. Orange just got something dastardly in mind with these tables, man. He keeps going back to the wood. The Edge is trying to avoid disaster by any means necessary. Orton trying to grab a hold. Once again, grabs a hold of the WWE Champion and sends him in the corner. And a clothesline. Simple. Extremely effective as the champion goes down. Orton once again is setting up the wood of the table and Edge trying to make sure that it's not going to be the rated R superstar going through it this time. Neckbreaker lands on the table, may not have cracked through it, but definitely going to do some damage and Orton returns the favor. I'm telling you, man, ever since Edge took that fall, he cannot build the proper momentum in this matchup. You see the toll of this matchup is starting to catch up to the WWE Champion. Table set up yet again by the legend killer. Orton says Edge into the corner. Edge again trying to counter. And sending Randy Orton over the top rope. Almost hitting the cell there. Orton better count his lucky stars that he didn't hit the cell structure. You see Orton's trying to avoid disaster right now. Back into the ring. Edge on the chase. And Orton finds Edge right where he wants him. Damn neck breaker by Orton. Edge is in excruciating pain inside of the cell right now. Orton yet again setting up that table. The drop kick takes Edge off his feet. The hell does Randy Orton got in mind at those tables, man? He's already put Edge through one, not one, not two, but now he's looking for a third one. And if Edge eats one more table, I just don't know how the Rated R Superstar is gonna uh, uh, excuse me, avoid disaster and live to fight another moment in this matchup. 
Oh, and vintage counter by Orton off the scoop slam. Edge is trying. Edge is coming out swinging, but I just don't know if he's got enough left in the tank. I don't know what Orton's got in mind, but Edge obviously knows that Orton's wheels are spinning. And he's trying to avoid it by any means necessary here. Grab it a hold of Randy Orton. Neck breaker. Randy Orton's leg luckily hit the table. I think Edge may be the one now counting his lucky stars that he avoided disaster. Orton may be in trouble. Edge in the corner. This is what Edge needs to walk away the champion. A spear. Into the cover. No, Randy Orton kicks out just at the last millisecond of this matchup. That may have been Edge's best shot after all the offense that he's taken from Orton. RKO out of nowhere. No, Edge kicks out again. Oh, man. First the spear, then Randy Orton kicks out. Orton breaks out of it. RKO out of nowhere, Edge kicks out. Who is gonna survive hell in the cell and leave Boston on Thanksgiving 2022 with the WWE Championship of the World? Orton grabbing a steel chair and now sends Edge right into the structure. And we are in deep, deep waters in this matchup. And Randy Orton just delivering a chair shot to the Chrome Dome of Edge. And the Crimson Mask continues to float on the forehead of both men, but especially the WWE Champion, as he may be knocked out cold after eating the steel. Orton's eyeing him up, tries going for it again. Edge thankfully devoids the chair shot there, goes behind, takes Orton off his feet. And Edge trying to end this matchup. Into the cover he goes, but Randy Orton kicks out. The Hell in the Cell moves on forward. And now Edge is in the driver's seat with the chair. Orton counters and a drop kick, and he drop kicks the steel chair right at Edge's face. God damn it. And another shot to Edge. Oh my God, Orton is unloading right now. I don't know how Edge is still conscious after everything he has taken in this matchup from Randy Orton. And now the number one contender, beaten down on the WWE Champion with absolutely no remorse left in his soul. Edge can't even stand up on his own two feet. Orton is putting pedal to the metal. Edge able to avoid it right there. Edge with a shot, takes Orton off, living a fight, at least one more second in this contest. Edge goes for the kick. Orton counters. Orton with a shot. Another one. Unloading on the champion right now. And Edge is in deep, deep trouble. And oh no. Oh no. Orton eyeing him up. RKO number two. Randy Orton is the WWE champion. Whether you like him or not, Hell in the Cell wrote the final story in a long Long history between the Apex Predator and the Rated R Superstar. Here is your winner and the new WWE Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. They say Hell in the Cell will change your career forever. And I don't know if Edge nor Randy Orton, no matter the result, will ever be the same again. A valiant effort by the Rated R Superstar. But November the 24th, 2022 belongs to that man. And once again, the WWE has entered an age of Orton. The new WWE Champion, the Apex Predator. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.